Hey what's up guys it's Landon and today I'll be showing you how to paint a paint scheme. More specifically I will be painting a car for NR2003 using GIMP. For this tutorial I will be painting Clint Boyer's 2014 5 hour energy scheme on a next gen car. First you want to get GIMP set up. Often when you first download GIMP all the tools on the toolbox are grouped together. I don't prefer this so to undo this simply go to edit preferences toolbox and uncheck use tool groups. Next you want to get everything to paint your car. First you'll need to download a template. You can find these on Stunod Racing. Since I'm painting a next gen car, I will need a next gen template. Next you'll need to download your desired car number. You can find most of these on Big Evil Racing. Once you open your template, you want to add guides or dividers on your template. You can do this by clicking and dragging from the borders. I like to have three of them on the car at all times and dividing the hood, front, and back. Once you're ready to go, create a new layer above the base color by clicking the page symbol at the bottom right of the screen. Then you'll use the lasso tool to create the design on the car. Once you have made your desired shape, just go to edit and then fill with either your foreground or background color. To change those colors, use the color picker tool to select a color off of a reference photo. For this one, I was using a logo from a race that 5-Hour Energy sponsored. Some other tools you need to be aware of are the fuzzy select tool, which is the magic wand. Use this tool to deselect any area you highlighted by just clicking outside of the border of the layer you are working on. You'll need to do this as GIMP will let you work outside of that area you selected if you don't. Some self-explanatory tools that you will need to use are the scale tool, the rotate tool, and the flip tool. When scaling, you will want to check the chain symbol beside the width and the height as that will keep the same ratio when you are scaling up or down. When you use the flip tool, click on the guides that you put earlier to flip it to the other side of the car. My last tip of advice is when making designs, if you have a design that is simple with an outline, make your selection, fill it with the outline color, then hit select, shrink, and then type in a number. I recommend 5 for thin outlines and 10 for thick outlines, and then fill with the other color. Once you finish, you want to export the scheme as a TGA file, then move that file into the exports and imports folder on NR2003. Once you've done that, make a new car file in the game and import the scheme onto the car. And just like that, you've made your own scheme for our 2003. You can now use these new skills when painting any car at any time. This could be for NR2003 on a different mod, all the way to iRacing, as iRacing uses different templates, but pretty much you can use the same skills to paint cars for that too. Thanks for watching.